Hello YouTube, just doing a video on uh, my Sportster. Got some new uh, DK Customs TTIs to uh, Thunder Torque inserts. So I'm gonna let you listen to how it sounds before. I got the Sickle Shack exhaust on slip-ons. Uh, the last week or so, I modded them by drilling out the baffles a little deeper, or a little larger, and sounds okay but yeah i think even that has uh caused me to lose a little bit of my bottom end unfortunately so i'm hoping the uh ttis will help a little bit at least not make it any worse so uh if uh putting them in by themselves don't work then i will probably put the baffles which are already kind of on the weak side with the uh inserts and hopefully that'll help a little bit so uh yeah we'll start her up for a second so you can see how it sounds before and go from there it was warmed up for about a minute i, I got a carved one so it still needs to be warmed up so I might chug a little bit but or not start at all so yeah obviously it's not warmed up so it'd be idling a little quicker once it's warmed up so it sounds okay, it's nice and low, but uh, yeah, I lost a little tor or a bottom end. Alright, a couple minutes later and the baffles are out. As you can see, they're drilled quite a bit bigger than they should have been I think they uh, such a beautiful sound before I modded the uh, baffles and it, sound, it still sounds good but what I did I kind of lost a little bit of the performance wise and wish I didn't touch them but again kind of having a bike you're always fooling around with something apologize the bike is just disgusting we were away on a nice uh, long cruise up to Tobermory this weekend and we hit rain really only once but we hit uh, wet roads a couple times so She's dirt dirty. So we'll start her up. Take a listen to how it sounds without the baffles. So that's definitely a lot louder. even more top end but still sounds good I'm pretty sure I get pulled over really quick if I was to run those all right so let's try the TTIs I don't know babe so here we go we here's one of the uh, TTIs is the W158 it's supposed to give me the most low end um, and deeper sounding so uh, they came in a nice little package here uh, nice enough to send them you know, a little extra bonus uh, cozy I got so shipping them up to Canada always cost a little more so appreciate it DK Customs so let's go on all right back again and of course we had to hit a few little snags um, they said that they only knew Screaming Eagle I think they mentioned might not have had a large enough hole and uh, of course then the cycle shacks also didn't so i had to pre drill holes um i was in no mood to take the slip on exhaust all the way off to try to redrill out the original hole and uh so yeah this is a uh, 04 so things don't come apart that easily at that point i just want to get done quick the exhaust ain't the cleanest or the newest so i had no problem issues just drilling up from the bottom put it on a jack and just drilled up from the bottom and then I put the original screws back in place. I don't know if we can see inside. Just a little too far in there. Um, so what I did was I added a little, an extra nut um, to the gimmick. Sorry, just to, I'm, yeah. Just to try to center it a little better. They had it um, because my pipe sinker two and a halves, uh, the 
158s that I have are kind of just just in that in-between stage the next size definitely just wouldn't fit in so these are a little maybe on the small side so I wanted to get it definitely centered so it's I have a little too thick of a, a, a nut in there so I might add a little smaller one just to bring it a little more centered um, and then yeah of course I had them tightened up and then I want to put the original bolts back in just to cover the holes so I had to loosen them all up and put the bolt in again so Heads up if you planned on trying this, we're going to start it up for the first time. This is about 10 minutes later after the first start up, so let's see how she sounds. Definitely loud. If you're gonna install new holes make sure you have enough room just in case you want to put the uh, baffles in now my baffles I think are just a slightly little further than where I put the inserts so should all work out all right figured I do another little video now that it's off concrete it's kind of on grass um, it was a little bit of an enclosed area there kind of by my fire pit so see what it sounds like just kind of in the open more my handy uh, puller for my baffles definitely need something to get in there this one easily just kind of put some pressure on somewhere so when you just start kind of turning it helps slip the baffles out so an idea for anyone that's trying to get theirs out it's just a bar with a uh, a um, what do you call it self uh, tapping bolt so here definitely not quite as loud but yeah it definitely has a real deep low rumble Decibels are a little high though, I think. Quite popping pretty pretty loudly, crisply. Just don't know if that's just gonna be a little too hard on the ears. The bike is definitely seems to responding to them well. Um, but yeah, time will tell. Give it a couple rides and we'll see. 